just gone 5.30. So now I'm off to another beach over the hill to see if I can get a photo that I really want to get this morning. Here it is. The sun's not up high enough to cast much of a shadow, so I'll need to wait a little bit. It will give me time to set up my tripod and frame the shot. Yeah, it looks like the cross is still here. Look at that. Striations. Camera's all set up, got the composition that I want. Now I'm just going to wait for the light to swing around some cast a shadow so i'm trying a 30 second exposure with my old school lee filters on so i got a 10 stop glass filter on there so that'll reduce the light by 10 stops that'll enable me to get like silky smooth ocean because of that long exposure so we'll see if that has a nice effect if not i'll go back to just a straight polarizer so beautiful here. That silky dreamlike effect looks nice. So now I'm doing what's called an exposure stack. So I've taken a shot with exposure for the wooden cross. Now I'm taking another exact same photo but for exposure in the distance. And that way in Photoshop later on I can blend the two images together and make sure that I have sharp focus from the foreground all the way to the background otherwise no matter what I do because I've got a nice foreground subject I would never be able to get pin sharp focus throughout the entire frame so uh, trying that now another 30 second exposure just waiting for the sun to come around taking some photos with my phone there's really beautiful compositions here but I don't want to move the camera now here we go Okay, so I waited here for about another hour for the light to change and for the sun to hit the wooden cross and cast a shadow. So I've gotten my shot now. Such a gorgeous day. Now it's time to pack up, head back over to Ange in the Mog, have some breakfast, and then we've got a bit of an adventure planned. Let's get it done. Coming up this mountain in bare feet. Was a bad choice but I think I got another nice photo from this little outcrop here overlooking the cliffs so now back to the mog finally for Bracky if I don't get my feet all cut up on the way down Wow, in winter this must be mud in here. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing this. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> so it'd be canyoning. Yeah. Ooh. Awesome. The rock around here is really sharp. Can't really describe. Let's hope I don't shoot a giant Mackie today. <laughs> <laughs> Getting out of here. Wow. What a cool mission. Chrissy Boy has always got good ideas like this. <laughs> that remains to be seen though, Ange. <laughs> Don't talk too fast. Then it's a good idea. I've got faith. This looks pretty snaky, Ange. You just keep an eye out. <laughs> Go away, snaky snakes. Spiky monster. Oh yeah, you are spiky. Further than it looked, eh? Yeah. I can't hear the waves. Where are they? What a spot. Wow. Wow. Underwater. Oh, wow. Wow. God, wow. Amazing. Those waves are getting big. I need to get in there. All right, good hunt. Love ya. Good you too, baby. spectacular there's no real good fish out there so I've nabbed this guy and before I gut him I'll go back out and maybe get a sweep more wong about that big came up to me but
Is that? Yeah, on the way back to Sabi. Oh, baby. You okay? Okay. <laughs> Nothing. So fast again. I didn't have the time to go and explore the rocks. I keep imagining a big white turning up. Yeah, nah. It's pretty murky. I don't want to go out too far. All good. I'm on my own, so... Flag. Yeah, it's your instinct. You need to listen to it. Yeah. There's a few herring out there. They're small, but they're good tasting. So maybe I should go out one more time. Oh. Or do we have enough? We'll probably have enough. Probably have enough for tonight. Eh? Yeah. All right. No point being greedy. That's when bad things happen. Nice job. So that's me today. This is called a sea sweep. Really common fish no prize catch at all but they do taste really good if eaten on the day in fact they're probably like a three or a four out of five to be honest the other one i've never actually shot one before they're really common hopefully it tastes okay they're good enough for me These would be better on a fire because we could use more of the fish, but um, we can't have fires where we are, so um, just taking the fillets, but that'll be enough for us for dinner. Hey. Naughty kitties are back in the watchtower, the mothership. <laughs> it's a pretty exhausting mission. We need coffee. We need coffee. Have a nap. Oh, you have a nap? I make the coffee. So I'm having the leftover of our cold brew. I'm gonna prepare a new batch. And for Chris, I'm making a hot coffee with the drip filter bag, the red gum medium roast. It's quite handy as well to have those drip filters when you go camping and especially when you are on saving water mode I'd say this would be the best because for example for us the French press I do find that you need quite a lot of water to kind of like wash it up afterwards and you kind of like waste it a little bit with that it's biodegradable as well so that's pretty good in that respect and I have coffee and then maybe yeah watch the sunset here for the last time I guess we probably will be leaving tomorrow because it's gonna be raining so it's been three days it's been amazing to relax here so we'll see what the rest of the day brings so it is 4 p.m. in the afternoon and we've just been basically inside since we last saw you just been working really so I am working on Premiere Pro I've been adding some cool little crop lines to the top of the screen so that it becomes a bit more cinematic so you'll notice that when you see the episode hopefully and I've been playing around with the color profiles and that's called a LUT uh, when it comes to video editing so yeah just playing around with a cool drone scene and then I'll carry on editing the video Ange what have you been up to? I'm backing up all the footage so Chris is working on the episode from yesterday and I'm um, backing up the footage that we filmed today so we've got hard drives put them on my computer organize them so that everything is kind of like nicely organized for editing after we finish this one so in about an hour or so we'll pack up camp basically pack the truck batten down the hatches and get ready for it to rain overnight and we will cook our fish outside before that and then uh, yeah we'll be ready to rock and Russian roulette in the morning 5.30 p.m. we are starving we always have dinner so early that's kind of like a habit that we've got and Chris is already setting up outside the outdoor induction kitchen and I will be the sous chef passing him some ingredients yep. what do you need chef? well I the need fish. fish, herbs, <laughs> garlic maybe a little bit of onion uh, potatoes and yourself all right i should be able to manage 
to give that to Chris. Alright, right, I've got the ingredients outside. Now we need some herbs. This, this. Alright, all ready. Pretty much. Dice of garlic. It's very much packing up now. You can tell it's really much of a cast. I like put in a nice little dress, which I never do normally. I'm trying to be a bit more feminine on the road after this year of grubbiness during the build. <laughs> but the weather decided otherwise. But it's just like when I just came back, it's like, oh, no, no. Put back your little dress and do that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a bit too cold. That's nice to be outside, to cook outside when the weather allows still and then we still don't have to worry about the wind which is good as well with the injection this is the wanderer pan that we got just before Christmas for our trip this is the campfire pan that we had on our travels with the jeep and I must admit I'm way more impressed with the campfire pan than the wanderer one I was actually promoting it in the video a few weeks ago saying it was on sale at BCF but definitely don't recommend it it's, it's actually really not non-stick mm. so we'll potentially get another campfire one because it's much better quality and it works gas and injection so that's really cool in that respect we'll cook and show you the finished result ta-da edible but not great <laughs> not selling it but as always Fresh fish caught on a day is better than fish bought at the supermarket. Dish right. not too bad. Let's dig in. Bon appétit. Okay, it is bedtime for us and I don't think we have shown you guys how the bed works to bring it down of an evening. So we'll set the GoPro up here and show you kind of what it takes to bring the bed down and get ready for sleeping. This guy here. Thick cushions stand up like so. Hey. This one like that. And then we have the anchors in the bed just to take all the loading off the pulleys. So now over here I undo the sail winch. So now we're pulling the pins out. It's a bit of a two man job. Cools out. And now we lower. Like so, take the load off, tie her up, and When you're ready for bed. Look at that. Good morning. So today is Monday, pretty miserable day, which we knew about when we checked the weather forecast. So we kind of like had planned to leave today anyway. So this morning we had a little sleep in, which was very nice because as you can see outside, it's like really not nice, windy and rainy. So we kind of like took a bit of time. It's actually calmed down a little bit. And now we're gonna head back the way we came, so all the corrugations coming up for driving. Right now we packed up, secured everything, all the checklists, including the pump, and we're gonna go on that steep hill and we'll see you at the top. Another high for today. 
Jeez, it's steep. Bowser crushed the hill climb, we knew it would. It actually felt a lot safer coming up than it was going down that first time. I made the mistake of going down in the second gear and ended up having to brake quite a bit. So I'll know for next time anything steep in this truck. First gear for sure. And uh, just let the revs do all the work. But um, no, it was, it was a lot of fun. Weather is shocking, so we are gonna hightail it out of here. At some point, I'm gonna chuck Ange in the back and uh, in the little habitat and see what it feels like when we go over these really rough corrugations. She's already been in here for the exact patch of corros, so uh, she'll know exactly whether it feels better or worse. So that'll be a good indicator for us to see what's actually going on back there. So uh, probably about an hour of driving and then uh, we'll do that. All right, Chris is checking me at the back. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll settle in. It was a little bit bumpier actually than we thought it would be in terms of things moving this time. So yeah, that would be a really good test. Actually, I've got all my stuff secured as well. I've got the radio with me so I can stay in touch with Chris. So we're doing 10 kilometers of dirt road, which is quite corrugated. Okay. Let's do it. Again in the cab, but very happy to say 
nothing as moved during this corrugation. That is crazy. The mug handled the corrugation so well. Nothing has moved. I understand now why we had a few things moving because that was a sales for draft track we went on. But yeah, seeing it now gives me even more confidence. You really makes me feel good about it. So now Chris is gonna free me. Yay! Hello! <laughs> wow, so impressed with the corrugation. Yeah. It held up so well. Awesome. So well. Very good. Nice driving. Thank you. All right, it's been a few hours since we finished that four drive track. We have arrived into town. We went grocery shopping, refueled, and as well got some water for water tanks. And we basically parked up in this little free rest area, which is pretty handy in the town. It's very windy everywhere, so we didn't want to go too close to the beach. Just making a little tea. And we're gonna watch the new season of Ozark, season four. Just chill nice and cozy inside and tomorrow we're not too sure yet what we're gonna do we really want to do a nice hike nearby depending on the weather some spare fishing as well there's so many little bays around here but the weather is not ideal so yeah. um, this is what i've been doing so after i cooked dinner been on google earth scouting Basically just scouting the coastline for spearfishing spots and potential little excursions that we can do on the MOG. Um, but yeah, Google Earth is a really good resource for that. And uh, then we kind of mark it down on our Google Maps as a point of interest. And then we can work out directions there and how far away it is and, and ideally our potential route through. So um, yeah, chill time the rest of the night. And we'll let you know what we're going to do tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Alright, so we finally got some sunshine again. We're heading up the coastline about 40 kilometers to a nice little beachside campsite. It is meant to be super, super windy, but hopefully we'll still get some good days where I can jump in the water. That'll be for our next week's episode. Well, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to like and subscribe our videos, and we'll see you next week. See you next week, guys.